Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to this uh, pre-event uh, webinar for Britain and Ireland Marketplace uh, 2021. Uh, as usual, I'll just wait for the number of you to drop in. Um, I imagine a few people have registered to get the recording, uh, but in the meanwhile, we've got a, a good number of people joining us live for the quick catch up. So happy new year, everybody. I can't believe we're at the end of week one already. It's been um, a busy one this end here at ETOA, um, particularly with this event as well. Um, as you'll see, my colleague Rasheen is on the line with us um, today. Uh, you'll, many of you will uh, know her well. As I said, we'll just wait a few seconds for people to drop in. In the meanwhile, I will share um, uh, just the homepage we've got of uh, Britain and Ireland Marketplace. I'm sure many of you will uh, be familiar with this site. So if you have any questions in the interim, then this is the place to go. Uh, throughout this webinar, please use the question um, uh, tab that you'll have access to if you have anything uh, pressing that we can help. Uh, but in the meanwhile, I'll just take 10, 15 minutes or so to go over two of the basics to get everybody ready for BIM, which is happening on the 26th of January. Um, so to quickly go through everything, um, we couldn't have done this event, particularly in this year, without the assistance of uh, our partners UK Inbound, and then the support from the tourist boards from uh, Tourism Ireland, Visit England, Visit Scotland and Visit Wales. Many of you will have come through their channels um, to attend this event, and we're grateful for, for the support that we've got. Um, from those visits, and I'm sure you are too, given the uh, various supports that have been provided. So, as I said, um, many thanks to them, and welcome to the UK and our members who are joining us. It's good to have you on board again for this event uh, for 2021. Um, as I said, uh, we have the website where you can see some information. If you haven't attended one of our online events uh, yet, um, we did a good number of those last year, there's useful information on here exactly about how um, the online events work. So you can have a, a quick online tour of here and then a bit of information about how the appointment selection works and the testing that we recommend you do in advance uh, before the event. Um, also, of course, the important information about uh, what's happening. Um, it will be on uh, Tuesday the 26th of January. Uh, appointments run from 9 a.m. GMT through to 5.30. Uh, we have 38 meeting slots of 10 minutes in duration uh, at this event. So plenty of opportunity for some useful meetings. Uh, those time slots will be broken down. Obviously we have some people joining from Asia who will be there in the morning and then people from North America who will be joining us in the afternoon. So the buyers from those markets won't necessarily be joining us for the whole day, but um, if you submit your preferences then you're uh, very likely to be matched with the people that you want to see. Also, of course, uh, you can see not only the people that you want to meet, but also your colleagues um, um, from whichever side of the, the, the road that you're attending on. So you can click here to see the buyers or the suppliers who are attending on the day. Uh, this is a very successful edition of the Britain and Ireland Marketplace. We have 60% more buyers than last year. So that is really a, a fantastic opportunity, if not in the difficult circumstances we face in the immediate time, uh, it actually lays great found, um, uh, foundations for recovery as and when uh, opportunities uh, loosen up uh, towards the end of the year. Um, as I said, we've got 38 meeting slots available. So in combination, those extra buyers and the uh, uh, extended meeting slots that we can accommodate now that we're online, that really uh, is a, a, a good crack at the bit for um, uh, lots of matches to be done. So you may have been expecting that we uh, were launching the uh, appointment system today. Um, due to the success, <laughs> that will be delayed until Monday, but it's almost ready to go. We thought, okay, let's get it right uh, today uh, and you'll receive those on Monday. Uh, and then you'll have five working days to submit your preferences. So I will also just um, share those, that information with you here. Uh, once, uh, if you've joined us before, this will be a very familiar setup to you, uh, but if not, I want to give you a quick introduction as to how it works. Um, you'll receive your code to access the appointment system, which is called Celestina. That's not a person, it's a system. Uh, you'll enter that and log in, and then on the system, you'll have all of the instructions here. Given the extended number of meeting slots, uh, this year you'll have 20 selections that you can make on this platform. 
Um, they are selections and um, you can put them in order of preference. So remember, not only to select them across on the list, but put them in order of preference, not in alphabetical order. Um, that's an important thing. So although it seems like a lot of instructions, it's for the benefit of everybody if they're adhered to just to make sure that we do everything right. As I said, we don't have the data in yet. It's been put in just now, um, but you can apply these filters, the categories that everybody has registered on, uh, which uh, can, um, region from the, the UK and Ireland that uh, people are attending from. You can apply these filters, find people specifically, uh, and then really just drill down on um, what matches your uh, business purposes at this event, whether or not you're on the buying side or the supply side. So just use those filters to get this list. As I said, this list on the left-hand side, once we launch on Monday, will be very long. Um, both On both sides, you'll have plenty of choices there to start selecting from. Um, once you do that, you need to add them across onto the right-hand side. This will count down from your top 20, and then you'll need to put them in order of preference. And I can't stress that enough. Please put them in order of preference. Um, so that will be open for a week. Uh, so we'll be closing uh, next Friday, a week today. Um, and also an important deadline between now and then is also to let us know if you won't be available for the whole period on that day. It's very important that we have that information. Please send it to either uh, Magdalena, uh, who you may well be in touch with, or the Celestine support at celestina.org uh, email address, um, which in reply to the invitation to submit the choices. If you reply to that, just letting us know if you're going to be missing, that makes sure that we can arrange your appointments uh, for the times you're available and not to leave anybody disappointed after we start the matching process. So uh, another thing that I always need to repeat is that it's obviously, you have 20 choices, but so do your counterparts. Uh, the matches will be made on the preferences of both sides. So there may be people that you didn't see, but they may have contacted you. Um, so, um, that's uh, that's how that works. We'll be sending out provisional um, uh, meeting, um, your provisional agendas uh, on the Thursday before the event, and then the final ones just on the day before, which will then also be coming with your access to the uh, Celestina online event portal. Um, we ask that you test those that system. So we've done a lot of um, um, work on our bespoke platform which is compatible with many systems, um, and we, we're doing a lot of testing on there. But we always ask you um, to just give it a, a with on the computer and the network that you're going to use on the day, which is quite important because uh, if you're, for instance, in a uh, council run or public sector, I think that sometimes there's very strong um, firewalls that may prevent that. We can tell you how to resolve that, but um, it's best we do that in advance. So uh, I will share uh, the handouts here, which also has the link for that. Um, in, the, in the handout function you can access there and there is a link there which will load shortly to the testing functions here so be, uh, we'll, we'll provide that information on Monday as well on here you can click start and I hope this won't kick me off anything now it runs through we're only really worried about red warnings uh, and that's mostly on the network connectivity um, any green or ambers are fine it's the red ones that we're most worried about for example, this will run through, uh, but just if you have any concerns, just let us know um, if that's going to be a problem for you. Once you've done the selection back to that point, please remember to click submit. They don't register unless you click submit. So once you've done that, hit that button and uh, we'll receive the notification. You can actually return at any time between now and then to uh, change them. Uh, as I said, it's been super popular, so we're getting the last people in now. So we'll launch on Monday, but I probably suggest you go back in just to check on Thursday or Friday morning, just to see if there's anybody new or if you want to change your uh, selections a bit slightly. Um, so that's really it from me. That was a, a very quick tour of everything that's uh, uh, going on. Um, if you have any questions, please do submit them. I think my colleagues have maybe dealt with some that online already. Um, I would just recommend also uh, UK Inbound are running a travel trade ready workshop at 10.30 on Tuesday. So if you're interested in that, then um, please go to the uh, UKinbound.org and you can register on there um, uh, 
before that on Tuesday. So that's kind of more practical advice about how to engage in the business with the operators that are attending. Um, that's cool. So please drop any questions. Uh, Steve has just dropped in. Yes, um, we will be doing, as usual, the broadcast um, throughout the day, um, engaging with different insight elements. We'll have um, our colleague David Edwards online, as well as uh, hopefully some of the visits who will be adding um, uh, their inputs on the broadcast throughout the day. So when you don't have a match, they'll be coming through and then during the breaks and lunch, we'll have some useful content there as well about how this year looks to pan out. Uh, let me just... Do, 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 do. Any more questions? Rasheen, I don't know if you've got anything to add or Magdalena's on the line as well, just in case I've missed anything in that very quick whiz uh, of information. Um, no, I would just uh, reiterate and um, thank the, the visits for their support um, uh, for Britain and Ireland Marketplace this year and for their support to the, um, to the industry, to the trade. Um, if it wasn't for them, it would, uh, uh, it's, it's been amazing support from, from the visits and tourism, Ireland. Um, nothing really coming through in the questions here. It's all nice and quiet for Friday afternoon, Aaron. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've got about 60 people on the line, so I'll just leave it a few more seconds just in case anybody has anything. But if not, Happy New Year again. Um, we look forward to seeing you in a few weeks um, uh, at the event itself. Uh, but drop us a line at any point between now and then. Again, let us know if the time slots between nine and 5.30 don't work for you, um, we will um, we can help you out by blocking uh, time off for you. Uh, if you've joined us from Ireland, then we also have an Irish drop-in as well on Tuesday, um, I think at midday or half past midday. Um, so that yeah. join that. And that's just talk about uh, Ireland specifically as a destination, the challenges and opportunities faced this year, uh, and then um, our some reps from Tourism Island will be joining us as well. Indeed. Okie doke. I'll leave it at that, but do drop us an email if you have any questions. You see the handout there. Uh, the next you'll hear from us will be Monday, um, when you will receive your uh, invite to uh, uh, submit your appointments. If you don't receive that, get in touch, but um, wait until about lunchtime before you start pestering us. Um, we'll get out by then. Okay, have a great weekend, everybody, um, and we'll see you soon. Thanks very much. Thank you, everybody.